Good day, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about the hidden curriculum. If you think about what you study at school, that is an academic subject. But think about what else you learn while at school. So let's use the analogy of an iceberg. So up here, what the part you can see, that's the academic subject. And, you know, uh, in post-secondary might be a major or a program of study, but even when you're in secondary school or even in kindergarten, you're still learning basic things, like you're learning some mathematical concepts, you're learning how to read and write. Uh, later on, you might have social sciences, music, art, physical education. So that is the formal, the formal curriculum, if you'd like, which we would have guidelines around provincially, let's say. But then there's something that we don't necessarily think about, but what sociology calls the hidden curriculum. And that is things like the norms, the values, and the procedures. And if you, if you go back to your experience of elementary school, what were some of the norms you learned? Well, you may have learned how to raise your hand. You may have learned to take turns. And one of the first things we do uh, from kindergarten to grade one often is you learn how to sit down at a desk and be quiet. So those are all these kinds of norms for things like, you know, you become um, the various kinds of rules that schools have. Then there are different kinds of values. The values would be, well, uh, you are supposed to work hard. You're supposed to have some kind of academic ambition. Um, there's a kind of meritocracy involved, meaning that if you work hard and do well, then you will sort of rise to the top. And uh, that could have the advantage of, uh, you know, doing, going on to uh, post-secondary school and further education. And that kind of gets reinforced in other kinds of ways as well. Uh, what we call also sort of streaming, where we divide students between who sort of are kind of, we, th we think of them as academically inclined, and we create a pathway for them, and then others that we do not. And the procedures relate to things like, things like, you know, um, recess, and when lunches, and in terms of the school's disciplinary rules, uh, and that has changed over time, of course, but we see, for example, things like zero tolerance policies, uh, things like to how students have to learn how to avoid detentions, um, suspensions, expulsions, those kinds of things. And those only increase or intensify as you uh, get older. So now what I'm going to talk about is the, the sociological perspectives uh, that sociology provides and how we can look a little bit further into the hidden curriculum.